Just before the debate, the LNP leader detailed what his government would do during its first 100 days in office. Campbell Newman says if elected, the unemployment rate would be tackled, along with the cost of living. Campbell Newman says he's not taking anyone's vote for granted, but was talking very much like a Premier. Today we are releasing a, a plan for the first 100 days of an LNP government should the LNP be elected. On day one, Mr Newman says he'd impose a 4% unemployment target as the principle underpinning the government. He'd direct Treasury to lower the cost of living and there'd be better accountability, including making it an offence again to lie to Parliament. If they're prepared to put their trust in us, we will get on, rev it up, make it happen. In the first month, an LNP government would set up an independent commission of audit to get a true picture of the state's finances. Fixing the Bruce Highway would also be a priority. Our commitments are fully funded. If we see that the position is worse than Labor have told the people of Queensland, then we'll work harder to cut down on waste. He's promised to release the cost of his policies well before Saturday, but wouldn't be drawn on the latest opinion poll. It suggests the former LNP leader Lawrence Springborg is the preferred choice for Premier if Mr Newman fails in Ashgrove. So be it. But that's not what this election is about. It's about Campbell Newman v Anna Bly. Anna Bly knows her opponent will probably walk it in at the election, but she's trying everything, including standing on one leg, to win. There's no doubt we've got a pretty tough week ahead of us, but uh, we're going to be working very hard. It's great to be here. Last night, the Premier's 50 seats in five days pledge took her to Brisbane's Bayside, but some wanted to talk about Campbell Newman. All this talk about him, all these dodgy dealings, like, and then nothing's happening, so... Well, the CMC's um, investigating one of them. Anna Bly says until the last vote is cast, expect to see her campaigning morning, noon and night. James Kelly, ABC News.